Dr. Incompetent here, and let's play some Planet Zoo. Well, I've been getting some requests, and I've been wanting to play this game again, and I thought to myself, the best way to do that would be to play a new zoo, start again, and get back into the game. I haven't played in a while. There's been many, many expansions, DLCs that have been released, and I think there's just new additions and updates that have happened in the base game, which is all I have, and so I'm excited to see what that is like. So I'm going to start a new franchise, and we are going to build in a new area. Um, oh, we got some conservation points. Terrific. So I would like to just make a new zoo, and I'm going to select... Um, Let's see. I thought about making it in Japan. Okay. And then we're going to go in Asia. Yes. We're going to go medium difficulty. And we're going to go with... Um, incompetent Zoo Advent. Oh, you can't make it that long. Alright, we'll just call it the Incompetent Zoo then. Okay, and we will say Create. Here we go. Now, I apologize to everyone. Um... I'm going to forget all of the key bindings, just everything that you're supposed to do in this game, but we're going to give it a go anyway. Now, I want to look at myself. I am starting. One of the great things about this game is that you carry over conservation points between uh, your different zoos, and so I am starting with a bunch of conservation points. I mean, not a whole lot, but a, a reasonable amount, and I think I might do this for my starter animal. We'll see. Just so I can get something fancy. So again, what a beautiful game, and here is my plot of land for my zoo. Alright, so just kind of looking out from extremely far away. There's rivers... An amazing spot. Okay. So the first thing is, um, we want to look at the grass. Get really close. No. We want to build some r pathways for our our friends. Um, let's see. Alright. And let's... Uh, looks like these go up and down. Okay. So, I want to build... Um, no. <laughs> no, not that. Here we go. Paths. Um, I apologize again. It's going to take me a second to get back to this. So, for people coming into the zoo... I could just have this nice wooden path, which is what I had the last time. Um, tree bark. I didn't ha never tried that. Um, let's see what other options. Maybe they added some really fun stuff that I don't know about, like way, way down here. Gold path. Yeah, they've got some really exciting stuff. Water path. Decorative tile. Mosaic. Wow, cool. Bamboo, horizontal path, frosted ice, what's this look like? I like that alright. A natural path that marks your terrain with curb markers. We could do that and just keep it, you know, natural. But as I look in, zoom in on this wooden path with these square sections, I kind of like this. Let's try this. Okay, now I need to make this wider. And, yep, the bracket key still does that. I'd like to make it um, as wide as the entrance. So, I guess 23 feet. Is that right? 
Um, let me see. Let me, yeah, 20, you do it in, in meters. So if I zoom way out and look at this, this looks about correct. So I'm going to keep it as the same width as the entrance, and I'm just going to build that there. And we're on the follow the path. Uh-huh. Okay. And so I'm going to do things a, perhaps a bit differently than I did with my first zoo. And you could see that um, this is not perfectly straight. Uh, but that's okay. I really don't mind. It was a natural tilt. It, it looks vaguely confusing given these but it all adds to the charm I figure when I do the zoo and it's like perfectly rigid in terms of its architecture like everything looks like a grid it feels less natural organic um, so I'll just go with that and then we'll just kind of complete this curve and and curve this around for now okay so we have some concerns that we need to get taken care of right away. So we have to build facilities for the staff. So um, last zoo, I went with this classic stuff, and I love it. Now, I'm in Japan, so I could go with these really fancy Asian decorations but that might be a little bit too on the nose i'm not sure how i want to deal with that but for now because i actually have no money i need to uh just build the basic stuff the kind of ikea versions of these things for now all right so we the keeper hut will be built next to the um habitat quarantine quarantine Okay, so we need, um, can I filter these anymore? Yes, I can, right? I'm going to filter, um, brand, no, 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 um, material, no, 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 uh, no, okay, anyway, this is fine. Wow, look at these. I like these Indian ones. Those look pretty cool. Well, we know that we need a keeper hut. We know that we need um, a research center. And we know that we need a workshop, a vet surgery, a staff room. So let's just start building these things before we even get animals. Um... But I'd like to just build the staff stuff, like, right off the main uh, thoroughfare. Actually, let me uh, undo that, and we'll just go ahead and build a staff path right here so that the people don't mess with this. I need to have enough space on each side to kind of get into this. There we go. We'll curve this. No, we don't have to curve it. We can just move these trees. That's the great thing about the game. You can just move these trees out of the way. You can be like, hey, tree, um, I'd like to move you. And then you just pick up a tree magically. <laughs> and relocate it. Man, I haven't played in a bit. Have I said that yet? But... One of the things that just really blows me away every time I pick up this game is how beautiful and calming it is. Look at this great topiary. When people come in, you know, I've got the game paused. There's this really chill music happening. It looks fantastic. Okay, now this staff path is rolling. So the people will come in this way. And then now we can build the facilities we need. I want to do all of this stuff before um, I go crazy. 
because at the beginning of franchise mode, money is a concern. Later, it becomes much less so, which is cool, because then you can just go bananas. Um, but for now, I have to care. So, uh, I need an animal trade center. And let's just start building these things. Now, I need to see the heat map of uh, negative impact on guests. So, if I built this, I could even build it as close to people coming in is like right here and people would not be upset about that. So I'm going to build it there. And then people won't be upset and we it can get its job done. Okay. I don't think you need quarantine right away. Now, I don't need a large research center. We'll go with a small one. And knowing that this one, that the uh, spread or dome of the negative influence on guests from this facility isn't getting anyone, I can build anything I want over in this direction um, away from the main path and not worry about it. Providing it's, its sphere of negative influence isn't larger, but for the same size building, they usually aren't. I could be so wrong about that. Let me just check the heat map. Yeah, we're, we're still good. This one's a little bit closer um, and more dangerous, so I'm going to put that here. Now I need to rotate this uh, building. Mm. I'm forgetting the key for rotation. There's something easy you can do. It's not space. It's not tab. Um, yeah, Z. Okay. Z will do it. And I'm using the simple um, placement strategies for the time being. Only because you can bring up like some crazy adjustment. X, Y, and Z axis tool, which I will start using in a bit. But for now, I'm just aligning everything along the grid to our staff path. All right, so we have now a small place for our staff to chill out. We have a research hut. We have an animal trade center. We need, indeed, a workshop. And then we need vet surgery. Let me make sure that this is cool. It is. Beautiful. I'm going to move this tree. It's getting a little bit funky. Well, maybe, maybe I can't move this tree. Sometimes the trees are like not part of the... Oh yeah, I can. I was, I was just on something else. There we go. Sometimes it's not part of the... Like, if it's outside your boundaries, you can't move it, but I can. And I'm going to put this tree here. And the, the purpose of these trees in these this place is just to provide some shelter so guests walking by don't see these. Now, it doesn't actually do anything functionally in the game to block their view with these trees. It's just cool. I do it because it makes sense to me. So we now have um, a research center. Well, no, we built a small one, though. We have uh, a small staff room, a vet surgery, a workshop, and an animal trade. And then we could build the quarantine just to build it, which I might do, but I don't think it's... You know, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but I don't believe it's essential. Now, this is actually not hooked up to the path, which is confusing. So, I'm going to try to figure out why that is. Oh, it needs, like, it needs some kind of adjustment like this because it's a weird. Okay, so then I'm going to just build the path out longer. 
I guess. And see if doing that, if I move this, there we go. Oh, now it works. Okay, well, anyway. I just wanna make sure you can see how the path corrects itself to provide people access. That means that the staff can get to it. Okay, great. So now I have all the required staff stuff. Um, and staff alerts, you need a keeper hut, you need a quarantine. It is telling me that they want me to have a quarantine. Uh, I can build it. It's not required, but why as well just, I'm going to need one down the road anyway, so. There we go. So now we have all of the major staff buildings albeit small versions and junky, like, prefab nightmare versions. We've got them. So that's good. Okay. Now, our next job is to figure out our habitat. Let me save the game. Okay. And then... What is this? Challenges. You see, these challenges are so good in the beginning of the game where they give you $1,000, and you're like, yes, $1,000. That's actually substantial. But then, at least, I don't know if they've changed this, but as you get later in the game and you have millions of dollars, they still give you that $1,000 reward, and it's, you know, not the best. It doesn't scale up properly. Anyway, who cares? Let's move over here and look at the option for a habitat, right? So we want to build a habitat, but before we build a habitat, we need to get an animal. Now, here we are. Um, and we're going to think about a good species to start with. And we want to make... I only want to pick up um, conservation listings. And I want to do affordable ones. I don't really want to start with Aardvark. Okay, so I want to go here and let's just look around and see what we've got as an option. Um, I'm going to Indian peafowl, hilarious. Peafowl are good for spreading around a lot, but um, all right, we're going for big appeal, low price. So we could get this like West African lion, which is huge appeal, but the problem is, um. Now, the problem isn't very great, actually. Let's let's see what else we got out here. There's a lot of albino West African lions with massive appeal. Hmm. Do I want to go with lion? What about um, camels? What do you have available in terms of some camels? So this camel is ridiculous, but it's quite costly. These camels, they're like 100 conservation points. These are better, but they're too old. So there's not many camels even available except for people who are charging 10,000 conservation points. And that's a little bit too steep. So I could just see... Um, if there's any camels that are for cash, and there aren't. So... That's not the way to go at the moment, I suppose. Hmm... 
what animal do I want to start with then? Let's go back to conservation credits. And I want to go just max, like, yeah, 1,500. Okay. I could go with some old camels, but does that make sense? Let me look at their lifespan. Let me, let me see in the Zoopedia. How long do these guys live? Uh-huh. Oh, they live 40 years. Actually, then 14 isn't bad. So they want two men and two women as a base, but they're kind of like, okay, so maybe we can do this. Maybe I can go with camels. Maybe I can just pick up some reasonable camels. So we've got um, two boys and two girls, so I can just go with one, adopt, two, adopt, three, adopt, and then adopt. Fantastic. So we'll see what happens with this. I can't have any more males. I could have another female. So we're going to just start with camels and see how that goes. Camels are an animal that I love. I think they're hilarious. And let's see if I can remember how to build a nice habitat. So what we want to do, well, first we got to build a barrier. So when you're starting out the game, oh, you know what? Maybe I do have all the barriers unlocked. Maybe because I did research in a previous campaign, I start with all of the different barrier types, which would be cool. I love this brick. Resistance 5, moderate, opaque, climbable, not water type. It's the same as the red brick. So I never have done this particular kind of barrier before in a zoo. So I'm going to try it out and see how it looks. So let's just start putting... a habitat in. Now, I want it to be taller. Maybe not as wide. Um, oh, these keys aren't working in the same way that I'm used to. Okay. Make it a little higher. I mean, these are camels, so it needs to be sort of tall, I guess, like nine feet tall. They're not jumping, but, you know, just so their heads don't peek over and attack people. Not that, I don't think camels really attack, per se. God, I hope not. Um, but, all right, I'm going to do this. I'm going to build an exhibit that's just way too big. I always do this, but it's my first one, so let's have some fun with it. Bam, bam, bam. Uh-huh. Now, the thing is, the because of these buildings, the guests will never walk this way. They're going to walk around, but the staff can go over here. So, maybe then... I want to reconsider the placement of this and um, I was thinking about the staff access but that I need to think about my guests so maybe I should change the habitat to end about here instead um, so that I can put a path so people can walk around and there's more glass viewing options yeah I think I should do that So we're going to edit the barrier, and we're going to just um, get rid of this and that. Okay, good. And then I'm going to um, connect it like that. But now we have something where I don't know if this is large enough. But what you do is you just build a door. 
And so we'll build a habitat gate for the staff um, over here. Okay, and then now we can check on this habitat and um, we can call it, uh, you know, the camel uh, corral. Am I spelling that right? I hope so. Probably not. And then what we want to do is look at how big it is. So it's clean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 10,000 square feet. So camels, which are in our animal storage. Oh. Oh, I forgot. I have all these other animals from other zoos in the Trade Center. That's interesting. I, I completely forgot that they uh, they do that. No, no, no. Not release to the wild. Not send to the zoo. Um, I was hoping to look at the Zoopedia about them. But apparently it's not there. So I need to go here and check animals. So they want a area of at least 7,000 square feet. They don't care about climbing water or anything. Of course they don't. Um, they need it to be a certain temperature. And they might want the terrain altered. But the other thing is that number increases with the amount of camels that you get. So I want to be sure that the habitat here has enough space for a large, like, we're going to have a, a good amount of, uh, oops, that didn't work. Um, oh, God. Build a path. Sometimes the paths go wrong. Here we go. Let me try this. There's a different way to do this. Um, nah, I don't want it to align to the grid, but yeah, yeah. I want to preview where it's going to go so I know. Um, I don't want it to do that. That's awkward. Um, I want it to go around... Let me look at the heat map. How are we doing? So theoretically, no one will have negative influence walking on this path. That's the hope. I could stop them there and not have them be able to go all the way around um, just for now. My path is like way too wide. It actually got wider than it was supposed to be. Um, let, me, uh, let me demolish this. Let me let me cut this out. I need to go 23 path. That path was just too long. Okay. So now we have a path here and a path here. And things are looking better. Obviously, we will replace this with glass soon enough so that the guests can see. But this is a good start. We've got our staff facilities. And now it's time to really dress this up. We have $25,000 left uh, to fix this. I'm not sold on this uh, barrier. I don't know if I like how it looks. It, it's a little... It's too much. Like, if it was just cobblestones without this grid on the outside of it, maybe. But the fact that it's, like, cobblestone plus a square 
grid, it's a little odd to me. I don't know. I haven't made up my mind yet. I want to see if there's an easy way to... Oops. Well, I didn't mean to do that. Uh... All right. Let's try one-way glass. And I can never remember... Oops. This. Yes. No, just... There we go. I can never remember which way is the... Okay, I've got these backwards. So... No. Um, no. There's some new features here. No. Um, okay. But I want to switch this around. I know there's a way to, if I uh, edit the barrier on this, I can, here we go. Um, so I can click that way. And then that way. And then now I've made this glass so the animals can't see out, but we can see in. And so it kind of creates a situation where it preserves the camel's privacy. I don't know if they're a shy animal, but many of them are. So we're going to keep going with that. I'm going to just go ahead and drop this in right here and here and then this one needs to be flipped around no problem here we go okay okay and so now people can come in and see some camels all right now i know that When you, uh, I need to put a donation box maybe right here and uh, right there to get the cash. And speaking of cash, let's just make it so people can easily acquire cash when they come in if they want. And we know that they want. We can put one over here, too. You can never have too many ATMs. Now, we'll do food and stuff soon. Um, okay. Oops, I thought I had the game paused. I didn't. There we go. For some reason, I thought Spacebar did that. It does not. But we're going to keep it paused until we get people built. Animals in, staff hired, all that stuff. Okay. So if I look at the zoo itself, um, it's 79 degrees Fahrenheit, which is hot, but not as hot as my other zoo. So we can deal with that. And we should build a um, some places for people to eat and drink and go to the bathroom. So I think we can do that. Um, over here. Now I could just easily build them right here. But the problem is the cues would spill into the viewing area for the camels. And we don't want that. So we're going to go to our path. And we're going to make an offshoot. Starting here that will extend like this for now. And then we can go ahead and build um, guest facilities. We'll build a chief beef right here with a nice little queue built in. And then we'll go ahead and do a gulpy. 
and then we can do a milkshake. Good. And then we need some other stuff. We need a bathroom. Which we can put, like, right when people come in. Okay, so people come in. And then they're going to see the restaurants. And then they're going to see the bathroom. We need an information booth. Mm -hmm. And then... I think that's good. I do want trash cans. Um, let's see, where did they put those trash cans? Here we go. But we'll just take regular bins. Put one here. Try to keep this place clean. Uh huh. There. Now we've got some trash cans built in. I think it's probably safe for us to try and um, connect the path back around. There, but we just need to move this. There. Alright. So this looks good. This makes sense. Okay. Now let's go to animal trading, animal storage. And let's just get all of our anim animals, our camels. And we're going to send them to the zoo. Invalid destination. There. Now we need to build a staff facility that is a keeper hut. And we will put it think these produce negative impact on guests, right? Oh, they do. That kind of surprises me, but that's okay. So what we'll do is we'll just turn this out over here. And this can be like a side feature. And we just go to path and we're going to go to Staff Path. And then uh, it'll be narrow. I'm going to make a narrow. Oh, I've rotated this the wrong way. Whoops. Okay. Let me move this. Okay, great. And then let me just go to Path. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Okay, so time is paused. The habitat's open. The light is green. Let's unpause time and see what happens if I try to um, speed things up a bit until the animals arrive. I don't know if that's possible. Where are they? Animals. All right, I'm going to pause it. Something is wrong with my animals. Um, here are all these animals. And I want to um, send them. Oh, maybe this is time remaining? No, no, animal. Oh, no, those are 
being sold. Animal storage. Animal storage is what I want. Um, relocating to Camel Corral. Okay, so they're in process of doing that. All right, then let me just unpause it and let them relocate. It apparently takes quite a while for this to happen. I don't have anything in here. I don't have food. I don't have terrain specified for them. But I've been doing that on purpose uh, because... Ah. Ah. Hello. I get it. I've been doing that on purpose because you can redefine the terrain easier when the animal is actually in there. But no, no. The problem... That's funny. I don't have enough staff. I need to hire staff. Um, I need to have... Uh, I do have vendors. Okay. But I need a caretaker. Here. And then I need um, to go back to that screen. And I need a keeper here. And then I need to go back. And I need a mechanic here. And I need security here. And I need um, a vet here. And one educator seems good. And let's let it go now. And hopefully, they all take the jobs that are required of them. All right, I'm going to pause it. And I'm going to check this out. So, we do have a vendor working here. The bathroom is going. Actually, all of the vendors are present. And so now we can start getting statistics on our staff. <coughs> Excuse me. Like I said, it's been a while since I've played, so I'm going to be rusty at first. All right, so this staff room is not being used by anybody. Nobody's had to take a break yet. Um, the keeper hut is also not being used. Let me just unpause it and then pause it and then go to zoo and go to staff and see, make sure that everybody has been properly assigned, and they haven't. So what you need to do is define a work zone. So what we're going to do is going to go to zoo and we're going to go to staff, and we're going to go um, work zones, and we're going to make a new work zone, and we're just going to build everything that's in the entryway here, just the opening of the zoo, and we're going to call this um, zoo entry work zone, and then all of these facilities are present in it. Anything that's green on this map will say it's in the work zone, okay? Um, and we've got one habitat and we've got several facilities. Okay, good. Now what we can do is assign all of the staff to the right work zone. So we're just gonna click everybody to zoo entry and they will immediately have a place to work. And then now, um, I'm going to unpause it, and you should start seeing people work immediately. Yep, so here we go. They're going to be putting the animals in, and here they are. Bam. Okay. So now, our first animal has gone into the pen. I have paused the game, and I want to look at some things. So I'm going to look at my zoo. And I want to say, okay, um, we have a keeper, we have a vet, and um, the caretaker is a little not happy. I don't know why. Maybe they just need a break. Um, all right. And everybody is doing something at the for the time. So you have to have one keeper for a habitat. And that's this keeper right here. Um, and this is Linda Darling. And Linda Darling, is she the keeper or is she a caretaker? Let me check. She's actually the vet. So the vet drops the animal off. All right, so let me unpause it. 
and just let this camel chill. Now, here's how this works. We've got our very first camel inside here, and this camel has to have needs met to be happy and flourish. All right, so now the camel, if you look, is smiling as camels do, which is why I like camels. They're always just chilling, happy. Now, this is a female camel, and the problems from her welfare are all about enrichment and the habitat. They don't like the terrain in the habitat. So what you want to do in this game um, is make sure that all of the bars that you can control are in the green. So, for example, the terrain is bad. So let's look at this camel and then click on the terrain tab and then it says terrain's bad and then you see down here what they want well they want they don't like long grass you want everything to be within the white and they like rock and sand makes sense right camel so what you can do is go to the terrain and then pick up the paint brush and then just i'm going to massively start installing sand in this habitat and you can slowly see this is updated in real time. I can make this uh, even bigger if I want. I can make like a giant paintbrush that is the massive sand paintbrush. And I'm going to let it spill out um, a bit from underneath the enclosure because it gives it the effect of, you know, you're in the desert. And so the terrain around the camel should be, in my opinion, appropriate. You can tidy that up however you want. But now you can see we pretty much, <coughs> excuse me, have met all of this animal's needs for sand, but it wants rock. And so let's give it some rock. Maybe along the back. Oops. Well, that's okay. There's like a little outcropping of rock over here, maybe by the door. And then now, all of its terrain is satisfactory. It could even use more rock, so we can just kind of throw that in up here. And we are in a beautiful space. Now, you can see that it has a pretty good amount of navigable land area, but we might want to make this bigger, and that's no problem. We can do that. Okay, so now we have the terrain good on this animal, and it's just about enrichment, all right? So what we do is we look at enrichment items. So you click on habitat, and then you say filter, and we're gonna go, we're gonna filter this by species, which is um, Bactrian camel, and then we want enrichment items only. And so these are the enrichment items that we've researched that we can build um, for the camel. Now, because this isn't my first zoo, I have researched the camel uh, a bit, and so I know I can build more maybe than you can see on your screen if you haven't researched camels at all. Um, this is just one of the perks of carrying over making overall progress on your Planet Zoo account is that you can get to these things faster. So what do we want? Well, how about a nice big um, scratching tree? This looks great. So this is like dual purpose. This is cool decoration, but then also um, enrichment. Now, but if I look at enrichment, they want food enrichment. So um, how about a grazer feeder, like up here? And then that actually is everything that they need, just for at least one. I'll put a ball in here too, just for fun. And then a block of ice. And I'm putting everything kind of by the window, just so people can see them interact with this stuff. And then now, if I unpause it, you can, and then pause it quickly again, you can see that everything fills up. Now, um, their social is bad because they don't have any more camels in here, but they will all come in. So. Now, we're doing great. And um, this camel's name is Narangarel, uh, which is fine, but um, I, 
I think I want to rename um, this camel to be something fun and happy. Um, like... Mm, you know, Sally. So this is Sally, the Bactrian camel. Say hello to Sally, everybody. Fantastic. Now I'm going to unpause it and hopefully more... Um, animals get here. Now I could hire another vet if I needed it, but I don't know if it's necessary at the moment. So what you want to do, I'm pausing it. Oh look, there's actually four human beings who are coming to visit perhaps. And what you want to do is just check everything that you can about your zoo. And so our animal rating is fine and you want to build all of these things up. Now our education rating is going to be poor um, because it is. So <laughs> I haven't built any facilities for that. So let's go to guest facilities and let's go to um, information. And we have an information panel, but, or I'm sorry, an information booth, but let's put up some, uh, Oh my gosh, they've really changed this projection screen. Holy smokes. No, I'm just looking for like a teeny TV. Well, that's a little too small. How about this? That's too big. Hey, Goldilocks, just right. All right. So I can put one here. And I can put one here. And then one maybe... Um, hmm. Sometimes they're hard to get fixed correctly like that that's great and then now um, we want to go with uh, that's good that's good facilities that's all good um, yeah media devices and education um, we can put up one conservation board just to have people learn about this as they are waiting in line. I always like to put it here so they have something to look at. There you go. Not too expensive, those. Educational speakers. Now, with these speakers, you have to watch out for the range on them. That they don't overlap because it distracts people. Alright, and then now, we're just going to turn all of these to camel. select advertisement whoa um no i don't want advertisement what is this maybe this isn't an educational tv maybe i built the wrong thing hmm maybe they've changed this since i played last you used to build the tv screen and then change the educational content um, okay, let me see. Let me check the heat map on this. And you can see the bubble of its reach. And so that means we can actually adjust the, the range a little bit to make this even bigger. Mm -hmm. So that more people are benefiting from this. You want to be careful with this one, but there we go. Okay, so now we've got speakers. Um, so maybe I need to actually go into... Uh, facilities and build now these are, it's the right thing to build this TV but maybe maybe it's not a TV maybe you want a screen panel ah here we go habitat education board and that's what we want and we want it for camel. So let me get rid of... Okay, I built the wrong thing. Wow, they've, they've added some stuff. So these TVs, I don't think they were present the last time I played. So I want just Habitat Education Board, not a TV. And we turn all of these to the right channel. 
so that everyone can come in here and learn about camels. And they learn more about camels the more research you have, and it tells you the research level. So we're actually, I believe, at research level two on camels because we've done some work with them. I'm going to unpause it. Okay, and I'm just going to let time kind of go, and here comes some more animals. And so every time I get a new animal, we're just going to pause it, and we're going to just check this out. So now they seem happy. The last meal quality was meh, um, and this is another female camel. Their social group is improving, um, and this will be um, Matilda, the camel. So we have Sally and Matilda in here, and we need to get the rest of the gang. Now, I think I can go into their enrichment. Now, there's a place where you can adjust their food, but maybe it's maybe I'm not getting into it in the right place. Not genetics. Oh no, wait. Maybe you collect a you select a habitat. That's right. So you select the habitat, and then you say animals, and then you say they're getting grade one food quality. We're gonna bump it up to grade two food quality. Um, and Sally and Matilda are both in here, and they're happy. And we're gonna unpause it. And here comes another animal. Great. And so this, the guest needs are pretty good. We got up to 63 people so far. All right. And now we have um, Matilda, but we have a male camel in here as well. I'm going to pause it. And um, this guy's name will be Eugene. And so Eugene, the male camel, is in here with Sally and Matilda. And hopefully... We can make a really magical exhibit. Here come the people. So here's what you do in Planet Zoo. You laugh at all the people that are coming in and you say hello. And here they come. And this woman is uh, Ami Little John. And most of her stuff is good except for the education, which should improve as she gets closer here, hopefully. Oop, let me, uh, let me change these, turn these on. There we go. Okay, good. And let's unpause it. And here come the guests, and they're going to be disappointed because I really only have this exhibit right now. Um, but let me, um, let me pause it really quickly just to say that I'm finally... Excuse me, sneezing a lot, but I'm also making money. So this arrow has turned green because we're, f we're becoming profitable. And this is what we need to do is just kind of chill here and make some money for a while before I get crazy and spend a lot more money. And we've got our final animal. Now, I'm pausing it a lot just to check in on my indices. So now we have our final male camel. What you want to do at this point is start to check in, and you can see that, indeed, our navigable terrain is pushing it. It's too small now for four camels, and if they start getting pregnant, it's going to be even smaller still. So we're going to need to expand the size of this, and we're going to do that in a second. But let me just rename this guy um, Dennis. And so we've got Dennis, Eugene, Sally, and Matilda fantastic camels ready to go in the camel corral and I think honestly a good place to extend this would be just to bust this these two open and to bring it out a little further this way and so what I'm going to do is while it's paused I'm going to click on the habitat and I'm going to say edit the barrier and we're just going to take this out um and it invalidates the habitat. That's the warning label that we just got. And you don't want to unpause it because your animals will escape. But what I'm going to do is just build this a little bit more this way to increase its size. And I'm going to um, extend this as much as I can um, by changing its length until we snap there. Perfect. And then I'm going to click on this barrier. I'm going to say edit the barrier. And I want this to be on my glass. Let's just make sure it's pointing the right direction. 
It is. Good. And then now, we have a habitat that's larger, which is good. Now I need to move this and just kind of um, do something with it. That's not ideal, but it's better than it was. It does poke through a little bit, and that just, you know, it's quirky. It depends on your level of awkwardness with the fact that this passes through the barrier. Um, you can move this out and not have it stick to the surface. You could put it, like, on the glass right there. Actually, that's fine. Whatever. It covers a little bit, but that's okay. And then now, um, everything is good except the terrain is terrible. So we need to do this, and we're just going to go over with sand and make sure that this is all sand to keep the habitat satisfactory for the animals all right and then so what we can do is quickly pause unpause and then check this out um the animal's a little bit stressed which i'm not happy about they need more food enrichment maybe now that there's more of them and so that's all you have to do is just pay attention to that click on the habitat and we're going to actually click Habitat down here. And I'm going to give them a uh, another one of these over here. One of these. Back there. And then a barrel feeder over there. And then just kind of spreading things out. And hopefully, pause. And pause like that. And then... Let's just check out an animal. And everything seems to be going well. They didn't like their last meal. And that's a shame. Alright, now I'm going to go to... Zoo. And I'm going to go to... Um, finances, animals, staff, research. Here we go. And right now, um, I want to keep researching the camel. And so I'm going to put Linda Darling, the vet, on researching the camel. We're not maxed out yet, so let's keep doing this to get more stuff. Let's try to get level 5 and 6, if we can. Perfect. All right, well, now we're researching camels. We have a bigger habitat, and let's just check to make sure that the animal enjoys this new space. And now you can see it is in the green. Everything here is good in terms of the animal's enjoyment of the habitat itself um, and so I think we're off to a very very strong start with these camels I probably want to build some more educational features out this way but for now I'm happy and I think this is a great place to end the episode everyone this is a long first episode but I had a lot to do and I still have so much more to do I hope you're excited as I am to just start a new zoo get back into the game and see what we can do, see what's been added and changed with the game since the last time I played personally and try to do even better than I did before. So this is our Japanese zoo getting going with some camels. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I'll check you next time. Take care.